guys, that doe and yearling down there must didn't read the hunting pamphlet. They don't know both seasons opening them. I ain't shooting my bow. And a jackrabbit sitting there. Just got a brand new bow. They just teasing me. They don't know how close they gonna get. They may get an arrow slung at them. But guys, there's your cheap way to save money and I guarantee you if you try it, it works just as good as that sent away and dead down wind. Well, good morning guys. Welcome back to Papa's Place. Guys, hunting season has come up on me quick this year. Yes, it has. Now, I haven't been bow hunting for several years, but I'm finna get back into archery hunting, but I'm gonna do it with a long bow or recurve bow, which I purchased me another long bow the other day, and that's what I'm practicing with, and y'all be seeing a video on this long bow. But today I'm finna show y'all how all of my life for many years of bow hunting, I mix my own scent away to spray me and my clothes with. Very simple, two ingredients, well three ingredients counting water. <laughs> But first, you want you some good filtered water and you want to boil it. Now, my water out here at my outside sink runs through a good filter, and that filter works. It filters that chlorine and smell and all that mess out of that water. But even though I done that, I go on and boil it. My little instant water boiling pot over here, I done run it through there three times. I just rather make sure it's good and boiled. Now, I'm just mixing up. I usually do this a gallon at a time, guys, but I'm just mixing enough now because I get these spray bottles at the dollar store right on there sent away, and I keep this with my hunting stuff. But I usually done it a, a gallon at a time back in the day so I had to keep it in the camper with us. But while that water is warm, just have you some pure baking soda. Now guys, it ain't no trick to how much to use because the more you use, if you use too much when you spray yourself or your clothes and it dries, it's going to leave a white film on you. That's that crystals of that baking soda. And when you're sweating, it'll soak up that smell on you. But, I'm going to just say I put, that's four cups what that holds, that little pot. In a four cup thing, one good tablespoon. I know this is bigger than a tablespoon, but I didn't have it full. But one tablespoon of dew. Stir it around till it dissolves real good. The next ingredient is pure vanilla. Now you can overdo this, because then you'd be out there smelling like a vanilla wafer. <laughs> All you want, well, for this right here, you basically just want about a drop. Just like so. Now for a gallon, I think I usually put, when I was doing that back in the day, about a half a teaspoon of that vanilla flavor into a gallon, maybe not quite a half a teaspoon. And you say, well, why are you putting baking soda to kill scent and vanilla makes the scent? Well, I don't know what it is. All I can tell y'all is the combination. The baking soda absorbs odor but yet it's got that you really got to have a good nose to smell it just a hint of that sweet vanilla and deer just for some reason they like it but now that that's dissolved i got some filtered ice over here so i can speed this process along My little ice machine runs through two filters. Because you don't want to pour hot water into these plastic bottles. And I'm going to rinse this one out. I think I need a little bit more ice before we pour it in there. Now, if I wasn't making a video, I wouldn't be putting the ice in here to cool it down, but I want to go show y'all what I'm going to do to my hunting. I got a ghillie suit and a new fleece jacket that I'm going to be wearing to hunt with, and I'm going to show y'all what I do. Right now, I could use a little funk, 
I know I got one somewhere. Hey right, guys, I had to go look for a funnel and I got a phone call, so this is really done cooled down. But we're just going to pour this in there. Now, I don't know what they put in that fennel way that you buy. Now, I have bought it myself, but it works. That dead downwind and the brand is called Centerway. But this right here works just as good and way lot cheaper. Most everybody already has baking soda, which at really now have a big bag like that as far as swimming pool, but it's the same baking soda you buy in the little boxes. Most people, they, if they do any amount of cooking or anything, they got pure vanilla flavor. And this here is pure vanilla. But all you want to do before you go hunting, I'm on about I would just totally, I'm going to mow yards today so it ain't gonna hurt me to have a little center way on. Another thing I do, I do not use scented deodorant. That's one thing I buy is that center way or that dead down wind no scent deodorant put on. And that stuff really works. Now I've tried that non scent deodorant that's over in the where you buy regular deodorant shampoo and stuff and it does not kill my underarm smell like that dead downwind or that center waste does. But I have actually before, when it's hot like this time of year, opening both season in October, I have got up and I'd spray my whole body with this, put my clothes on and then spray my clothes down, whatever I was wearing. But let's go around here and I'll show you what I'm doing to my hunting clothes right now to prepare for this next week's little hunt. I'm going to spray them down right here since I got somewhere convenient to hang them. But then I take them and I'm going to hang them out there under one of them oak trees away from the house today and tonight. Now this right here, guys... This here is something new I got. This is the bare skin fleece tactical. And I think that's going to be a pretty warm shirt to hunt out of. It's got pockets on the arms, pockets, pockets on the inside. And that's what I like. I like having plenty of pockets. But since it's brand new, kind of got the old new smell to it. And I'm not going to run it through the washing machine. All I want is the sin off of it, and I'm going to hang it out here under this oak tree. But y'all ought to check out bear skin. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Y'all can go check them out. I got one of their raincoats, too. I really love it. It's one of them lightweight rain jackets, but it's a tough rain jacket. They ain't made of no rubber or nothing. But they make some good... Especially for hunters, they make some good stuff. So there's my bare skin. I won't need that for a while as hot as it is. Next thing I'm finna get down is this year I bought me one of these new ghillie suits. I've always wanted one of them back in the day. But back in the day, these things was expensive. Now you can get them off Amazon. I think I give $30 for this free shipping. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below this video where you can go check it out. But you can wear this thing. You could wear it inside out. Just have your camo. Because you can't walk till you stand if you're walking through woods with these ghillie suits on. All these strings will be hanging up on everything. So my plan is to tote mine in my backpack and then when I get to my tree before I climb up the tree stand, slip it on. This was the, I don't know, it come with the tops, the bottom, the head, face, and then I got a strip that you could wrap around your gun. I ain't going to be using that. But the reason I bought it, since I'm starting traditional archery and I want to really focus on killing me a deer with that traditional recurve, I mean longbow, not recurve, mine's a longbow I bought. I may do some hunting sitting on the ground. That's why I wanted to purchase this ghillie suit. Plus, it'll keep the mosquitoes off of you. 
That's something I don't like to use when I'm bow hunting is mosquito spray. But sometimes I've had to break it out. The mosquitoes were so, so bad. But you get layered up in something like this, the mosquitoes can't get to you. Plus, I use one of them thermocells if I'm up in a tree, too. I sit it right on the bottom of my stand. And them things work great. But they put off a little smell, too. But I just coat my clothes down like this. And I'll be doing these this evening when I come in, I do it again. I do them a couple of days while they're hanging out here under this tree to get this new smell off of it. Cause you sure don't want to try to wash this. And then, every time before I go hunting, I have my bottle here and I coat down like that. Now I would like to show you, if you like I said, don't worry about it if you put too much baking soda in it you just don't want to put too much vanilla you put more baking soda you need like i said all it does is leave a little white film on you i have mixed it up real stout hunting this time of year y'all see how i'm sweating already it's hot today actually today is october 1st but just spray your stuff down i'd spray my stand we'd be going in have our stands on our four wheelers I soaked my stand and everything down before I got it off the four-wheeler. I kept a bottle on my four-wheeler when I was hunting. One in my camping trailer and one on my four-wheeler. And I'd spray down right before I got off to strike out through the woods before daylight, I'd spray down. But guys, there's your cheap way to save money, and I guarantee you if you try it, it works just as good as that sent away and dead down wind and you already probably got the products you need these little bottles you can buy them at the dollar store they used to be a dollar but they ain't a dollar no more i think they're two dollars and something but they work great because they give out a big fine mist and that's what you want now i don't coat down like this every time i'm just with this being new, yeah, I'm coating it down really, really good. So I'm gonna go right out there and hang it under the tree. But if you got a secret that y'all use for scent of ways when you're hunting, please leave me down there in the comments or tell me if you ever tried this here and what you think. But as always, guys, hope I hope y'all have a great day. Great deer hunt this year. God bless. See y'all next time.